Hey guys. <clears throat> Welcome back to Wind Chaser. This is, uh, we're back down here on my uh, beef operation. Kind of a bit of a crop farm as well. It's been a while since I played on this save game. Figure out where I'm gonna park my trailer. So it's been a while since I did a video. I'm um, just kind of lost interest in farm sim. Yeah, just been busy with other uh, more important things uh, I plan on uh, plan on doing videos of uh, uh, how to basically model where's my other beef I thought I had a second beat but apparently not. Um, started a new um, channel, so I'll just dedicate this one to in-game videos, and the other one will be um, uh, basically just to, uh, to uh, learn how to model in Blender and stuff. This is where it is. Start filling small things. Now we can bring this guy back. I might as well just park this unit down here. Not really anything yet. Or anything. Then here's so we only own three fields thirty five, thirty six, sixteen. Looks like we're doing pretty good on grass. Probably take out one of our triple mowers. I think what we're ending up doing on this map is we're going to start doing. Um, Hay bales, kind of like a fake um, like a fake sod farm. It's gonna happen. 
320. Hook up to uh, triple nine. Just start mowing. I actually like mowing in this game. So this is just uh, grass we have planted here. Um, might uh, till this up and uh, plant alfalfa over it. Just so we can get that extra yield. Not that we really need it. Um, the yield on this grass is pretty, pretty good. Go ahead and set up the GPS. Make my job a little bit easier. Got some withered corn. Looks like the neighbors uh, forgot to harvest. A little bit of weeds out in this field. That's okay. Weed of the week. 
Wonder what the hefty boys would say about our our weeds here. I think we got a few weeks worth of weeds of the week. Quite the variety. Probably take that same line. Here's our old soybean field. Nice field to have in real life. Same with this one. old bee farm that uh, the family outgrew, I guess. Built some newer buildings and a new house. Nice little pond here. Tucked way back here. No one can kind of mess around with you or stick their nose in your business. Nice line drive right back far corner of the map. Going all the land around you, so pretty private, uh, secluded back here. You can see a little bit of it from the road, but uh, you can't really see what's going on activity wise. We just see the silhouette of the buildings, but you know, probably don't have to worry about anyone coming here and jacking your trailers and stuff like that. Something I should probably just get into again is uh, doing some uh, forestry. Uh, haven't done that in who knows, probably a year or so since I've even touched anything related to forestry. I haven't been down to my lumber yard I built on this map in forever, so maybe it's a, a good time to get into forestry.
But yeah, my new channel I made, it's, um, I just basically started it. There's really no new videos on there. Um, but a few of the existing ones of Blender and GE, but it's uh, building in Blender. Um, I'll put a link to it. There's a link on my Facebook page to it. And uh, basically what I plan on doing that is um, tutorials. I need to make an outline, brainstorm an outline of how I want to do videos. But it'll, it's going to be, you know, 10, 20 minute videos. I'll try to do one a week. Um, if I miss a week, I'll try to do two the following and stuff like that. But I try to average a video a week. Uh, pretty doable. I just need to kind of like brainstorm an outline how I want to attack it and uh, stuff like that. But I figured that, you know, everyone's uh, basically not going off on their own, you know, not doing due diligence like me and others have to, you know, put in a solid effort to learn on your own. I mean, you know, people, you know, like, how do you think I learned? There's, there's, the information's out there if you're actively seeking it and if you're actively wanting to learn. Uh, but, you know, no one wants to do that because that, you know, requires work on their end, so. Whatever, if I make... Uh, spoon feeding tutorials and stuff like that. You know, maybe people will actually watch them and maybe actually try to learn. You know, well, it's not even really trying. I mean, I'm giving you spoon feeding you the information, so all you have to do is do it. Uh, most mostly because the sheer volume of terrible edits, people trying to get claim to fame by editing other people's work or reskinning. You know, it's kind of appalling at this point. And so, and I'm, I'm pretty sick of it, sick of the thousand edits and reskins out there. Someone slaps a part on an existing mod in GE. You know, all these GE builders out there, the Lego builders, you know. You guys know who you are. It's annoying. So I figured that if I were to do a uh, few tutorials, I'd have to actually, like, uh, increase the amount of, uh, quality models being built um, that'd be great ideally um, ideally you will like produce uh, more talented modelers out there uh, so just a handful of those that exist already um, and really I mean the game, the game is by itself is tremendously boring. I mean, you play it for an hour, and uh, you're pretty much you'll never have to play it again. It's just so one-dimensional um, without mods. Um, I mean, even if you were to model a mod, it's not even that great. You know, it's really the scripts that these guys come out with that really change the game. There's so much to make, and there's so much there's so much time you need to invest just to make you know even a little mod, say like a cultivator, it requires a tremendous amount of time to do it, do it right, uh, to texture it, to texture it correctly. You know, it's not as simple as switching something to AO and pressing burn. It's it's really not that basic. Those that say it's that easy, you know, it just demonstrates their their lack of understanding. It's a, it's a process, it's a learning process, it takes a long time, and, uh, and a part of that process is trial and error. I can't, I can't reduce the learning curve of trial and error uh, completely, you're going to have to experiment. And I, I refuse to actually spoon feed people 100%, but what I'll give them is the tools, the tools to create a solid foundation which they can branch off and do their own exploring. That's something I feel like I'd be willing to do, and hopefully it's popular. Um, if it's not, you know, it's not really worth my time if people aren't going to take advantage of it. So. But I'm not. I'm not going to release a mod that I built and deprive deprive everyone from the experience of, of 
of modeling something for themselves. So, um, like as much as you may want something, it's definitely more enjoyable to use something that you, you yourself have built. And for those that get upset about that, that just shows that you have a long, uh, a long ways to go, a lot of growing up to do, a lot of, a lot of life. <laughs> ahead of you that will teach you uh, lessons very quickly but um, basically giving you guys <clears throat> the tools you need to get started and uh, probably probably it's not like a basic beginner uh, level I don't really think that's sufficient enough to do what needs to be done but there's a lot of people that want to have a series of videos that shows them from point, you know, from start to finish uh, doing something. I think that's something I do from getting idea, finding pictures, modeling it, scaling it, separate, you know, texturing it, uh, making normal maps, making spec maps, exporting, scripting, so on and so forth. Um, so people truly understand the process of modding. Yeah, and I'm not. I'm not saying editing. Editing is uh, tremendously easy compared to generating, building, building um, a new mod from the ground up. Um, stick building, as I like to say, and uh, very few few people can appreciate that. I mean, you just go on these um, on these uh, mod sites today. It just shows the lack of appreciation and and lack of understanding. Uh, mostly, so um, that's one reason why I just I don't give away mods anymore. Just the the sheer in, you know the amount of entitlement is you know appalling for one thing, and it just you know I'm not gonna uh, you know spend sixty hours or a hundred hours going from start to finish on a mod just to give it to you so you can play with it. Uh, no, it's, that's never going to happen again. But I, what I will do, I will give you the tools so you can do it yourself. And that's, and you know, you give a, a man a fish, he eats for a day, and you teach a man a fish, he eats for a lifetime. So um, you really can't argue with the logic in that statement one day. Just see what we got going on here. Pretty nice little um, picture we got here. Yeah, here's what we got going on here. We got a uh, pretty decent little perimeter going on our field. Um, takes forever when you're doing it yourself. Um, we got our sugar beet stacker piler here. And um, pretty slow day here on Wind Chaser down here on the southeast. So, gonna call it a day on this video. So, thanks for watching.